Hey people, we got another update for the BlackBerry Preve. It is October 5th and the time is 10.30, so let's click on this thing and see what we get. I understand it's a 157 meg file, so that's just your standard monthly update. The bad news that just came out is this appears to be one of the last phones that BlackBerry is going to be making. They're going to be going in the software business and they will be outsourcing the telephone building process to other companies. Let me click on the download here and I want to see if it shows what the updates are. Let's click on the details. It's probably not going to give too much so I'm not even going to do that. Let me just click on the download. There it says 157 meg. It's downloading up at the top as you can see. Okay so let me give you some info. Uh, this is a, the beta came out about a week ago. Everybody is getting it so far except for Verizon. The update carries a firmware, firmware version of AAG873 for the AT&T Preve users. All other units, including factory unlocked ones, will get the AAG853. The update is 157 meg, as I said, and likely includes Android security patches for the month of October. It contains other fixes as well, but nobody seems to know what they are. So I'm going to go click on the restart button. It took just uh, seconds to do the download, as is standard. The update is the part that takes forever. Okay, so we are... Uh, Preparing for the update, there we go. Takes a while. The install, okay, it's already rebooting. The install is always really quick. It's the rebooting, you have to go put in your pin again, and that takes a long time. So that's why I said uh, 10.30 I started, we're gonna time it, and we are also going to see how much battery it uses because it started out at 100%. Hey, if you like my videos, feel free to link them anywhere. Do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like, whatever you want to do. Okay, we're three minutes into this, maybe two minutes, something like that. The change logs are not out yet because the uh, download is not officially going out to everybody. So I can't really find any info on what's going on with this install. We're almost at five minutes right now. A lot of people on the internet that have Verizon are not too happy that Verizon doesn't push these updates. And people wish that BlackBerry would just push them and not leave it up to the carrier, but things are probably going to change big time now that BlackBerry is not going to be designing telephones anymore. We're not making telephones anymore. We are at five minutes now. If you're in the beta program, which is closed and you can't get into it anymore, you got the update days ago when it was in beta, but no change log, no info. Um, recent info from BlackBerry after their $372 million loss is they decided to go direct in focusing on software, halting any involvement in designing and manufacturing its own hardware. They're going to end all internal hardware development and will outsource that to partners. So that kind of sucks. We're at seven minutes now, seven and a half minutes. It's really unfortunate that BlackBerry didn't manage the company the right way and they let iPhone completely take over. And then you can blame the people for buying the wonderful iPhone that now runs the industry. Almost at eight minutes. That's a long update. They say that it's uh, mostly security and Google updates. BlackBerry security and Google updates for their system, but not an OS, not a complete uh, update like going from Lollipop to Marshmallow. 
here we go. We're, we are at nine minutes, maybe nine, nine and a half minutes. So after this, it likes to go through the updating of uh, the modules, like 39 modules or 41 or whatever the heck it is. And there we go. It wants the password. Starting Android. This is usually where the module update part takes place. Ten minutes now. There we go. Usually these uh, updates take about 15 minutes to get them going and then about half an hour to do the whole uh, updating thing through the modules, but this was really quick. 10 minutes from download for download and install, so now we're doing the updating of the modules very soon. I don't know how many people are still watching this or listening to it. There it goes. 42 modules it has to update. We're already at three, so that's going really fast. Hey, these video cameras are definitely not cheap, so feel free to go to my channel page, click on the support button, and leave a donation if you want to. I got some other uh, really cool videos on playing guitar, installing lamps, doing some electrical work, patching, a lot of reviews. So, check out the channel, see what's on there. Wow, this thing's moving along. I'm going to shut this off for a minute. We're at 11 minutes, 11 and a half minutes. Looks like we are at 12, 12 and a half minutes or something, and it's cranking along. It is slow. Do this on Wi-Fi so you don't wipe out your data plan. Not that 157 meg is big, but do it on Wi-Fi. Go start the install, go do something, and come back in 20, 30 minutes, and it should be finished. On module 19 right now, and it's been about 14 and a half minutes. So it slows down during the middle and then cranks out the last few, like 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Goes really fast. Module 30, and it has been 17, 17 and a half minutes. So maybe five more minutes and this thing will be finished, and then I can give you an update. There are supposed to be no noticeable changes after you do the install. You're not going to notice anything. It's just fixes, bug fixes, and uh, security updates. There we go. We're almost there. Very close to 50 minutes to do this whole update so far. And then after this, it should uh, go into the lock screen mode, wait for uh, you to put in your PIN or however you log in, and then it should be finished. And like all security updates or any update with Preev or any of the other phones, it does stuff in the background during the day. So things might be slower, maybe not, but it's updating the phone after the install. After all of this is done, it's still doing updates and upgrades inside, so you might not notice anything for a day or two. Or you might notice that there are problems, but it does take a while for everything to load in and get set up right. 50 minutes right now, module 41 of 42. Almost at the end of my video here, I am positive nobody stayed for the 50 minutes, I mean for the 20 minutes to uh, watch this whole thing. But that's okay. I still make the videos, and I will continue to do them. I 
oh, this is usually the fastest one, the 40, 41, 42, and this is so slow right now. Forty two is going to be fast. It better be fast. I have things to do here. There we go. Forty two of forty two. Finally. Finally, we're almost there. Whoa. Oh, that's taken a while. Fifty-one minutes into the whole thing. Usually this burns out like about ten percent, ten or fifteen percent of the battery. And normally the phone is kind of warm at the back, but that's because the CPU is cranking out, working hard. So that's to be expected. Fifty-two minutes. What am I saying? It's not fifty-two minutes. The clock says fifty-two. Ten fifty-two. Twenty-two minutes. If it was fifty-two minutes, uh, that would be a, a whole new OS install, not just an update, upgrade. The big countdown, almost at, oh, there we are, 23 minutes and counting. The sun is out in L.A., it's a beautiful morning, 12 degrees cooler than it was last week, but it's still sunny and nice out here on the coast. There we go, there we go, starting up, finishing... Finishing the boot, and then I'll get the login screen, type in the password, and reboot, and then that will be the end of the video. So right now we're at uh, 23 and a half minutes. Um, yeah, about 23. Hold on. And there it is, back to the main screen. So from starting up to finish, the whole thing took 24 minutes. And battery life, it burned up 9% of the battery doing that 24 minutes of update. And that concludes my Preve update video for October. I will see you in a month.